Um, if I could open up just by addressing some remarks uh, to the Australian people. Uh, obviously, I accept that the last few weeks have been difficult weeks for the government, uh, but uh, they've also been difficult weeks for the Australian people because the people expect and deserve a government which is getting on with the job. Uh, I am confident that we have put this time behind us. I am confident that as of today, uh, we're back at work for the people of Australia. I am confident that what we have shown the Australian people is that we have looked over the precipice and we have decided that we are not going to go down the Labor Party path of uh, a damaged, divided and dysfunctional government uh, which uh, votes no confidence in itself. So uh, the task is there ahead of us. Uh, it's a big task, but it's a task that we are more than capable of doing. And it starts from today. Our focus this year will be on jobs and families. It will be on a strong economy and a secure nation. Uh, we start uh, in the next few months with uh, the families package that I've been talking about, with the small business and jobs package, which will focus on a tax cut for small business. Uh, this is what the Australian people want. They want a government which is focused on them, not on itself, and that's what I'm determined to deliver. Yes, David? I'm confused today about what your uh, indications are on the Medicare co-payment. Can you confirm whether that's going to be dropped, and will you take a different approach to contentious reforms that can't get through the Senate? Uh, two issues there, David. Um, obviously, we have some proposals which uh, are out there already. Uh, what I indicated to the party room this morning was that there would be no new proposals come forward uh, without the broad backing of the medical profession. Uh, as you know, I was a health minister for four years. Uh, I rapidly came to the conclusion as health minister that in any dispute between a politician and a doctor, uh, the doctor normally won. Uh, while the health minister can't be a minister for doctors, uh, nevertheless, it is important to maintain the support of the medical profession because, let's face it, uh, they have the best interests of their patients at heart. And that is certainly something that governments have to take very, very seriously indeed. As for the Senate, um, I've said it before, let me say it again. It was a bold and ambitious budget last year. Uh, with the wisdom of hindsight, it was uh, uh, perhaps too bold and too ambitious. Uh, we did, uh, with the wisdom of hindsight, bite off more than we could chew. But I've listened, I've learned, uh, and I've changed, and the government will change with me. And uh, we will not uh, buy fights with the Senate that we can't win unless we are absolutely determined that they are the fights that we really, really do need to have. Well, when, you, when, you say, sorry, when you say that you've changed and the government will change, Will, it, will the government change manifestly? Will you stick to your team? Are you going to dump your treasurer? Did you tell your party room today that uh, you wanted six months to turn things around? Uh, there's a sense in which uh, governments and prime ministers are uh, they're, uh, uh, being tested every day. Uh, every day is a test uh, for the government and the prime minister. And I accept that uh, every day um, I'm uh, being tested. That's the way it is. Now, um, I am determined to do better in these tests in the next few months than uh, I have in the uh, last couple of months. But uh, I'm also very confident that this is a party room which uh, believes in the marrow of its bones that we are a government that has good answers for the people of Australia. Uh, we want our country to be open for business. Uh, we want to end the uh, intergenerational theft which the former government uh, put in place with its uh, spending spree. Um, we want uh, a strong economy and obviously we want a strong nation. So the party room believes no less than I do, uh, no lo less than all senior members of the government do uh, in the broad direction. But obviously what we do need to do going forward is take a more consultative and collegial approach and 
steps have been put in place already to make sure that's the case. Could you ask some of Just your MPs for six one months? One time, David. Prime Minister, were you shocked by the result today? Were you expecting more than a third of the party room to back this spill motion? And have you spoken to Malcolm Turnbull? Uh, I haven't had a lengthy uh, a discussion with any of my colleagues since the vote because, as you know, uh, it's been a very busy day in and around this building already. But uh, uh, the point that I make to you and uh, which I've been making to all of my colleagues over the last few weeks is that my door is open, uh, my phone is there, um, I answer my phone, uh, I listen to my messages, uh, and I certainly want to build on the kind of dialogue that I've been having with my colleagues uh, over recent weeks, because um, if we are all working together, we are an incredibly powerful government. Uh, a government which is united and working together is incredibly powerful. I love this country. I want to do the right thing by this country. Uh, I want our country to flourish, and I want the government working together to bring that about. What specifically has changed or will change? Well, as you know, I've uh, dropped the paid parental leave scheme, which we took to two elections, and it was a bit of a favourite of mine, as all of you know. Um, but I accept that uh, Prime Minister's don't always get their way. Uh, I accept that on this particular issue I had uh, tried my colleagues' patience. Uh, I've also dropped the Prime Ministerially awarded knighthoods. Uh, all awards in the Order of Australia will henceforth be uh, determined by the Council of the Order of Australia. There have also been some significant internal changes uh, with cabinet processes, uh, with staff appointments, uh, with public service uh, travel. Uh, but fundamentally, uh, this is going to be a government which socialises decisions before they're finalised. And so uh, later on this afternoon, uh, I will be having a discussion with all of the backbench committee chairs to talk to them about uh, the new approach, which will be uh, at least once every two months, a cabinet discussion with the backbench committee chairs. At, at least every month, there will be a discussion of the full ministry because I want to harness uh, all the creativity, not just cabinet ministers' creativity, not just public service creativity, I want to harness all of the creativity and insights that this party room has to offer. Michelle? Uh, Mr Abbott, the Chief of Staff has obviously been a centre of controversy. Has she at any stage offered to resign in the cause of unity and will she be staying on and will her role, if she is staying on, be changed? Look, um, all of us have had to have, have a good, long, hard look at ourselves uh, uh, over the last uh, few weeks. I mean, obviously, uh, yes, it's been a difficult time for our country. Uh, but it's been a particularly difficult time uh, for the government, uh, um, particularly with the, um, I suppose, nightmarish result that the uh, LNP got in Queensland. So we've all had a good, long, hard look at ourselves and all of us are resolved to be different and better in the future than we have uh, been in the past. And that's true at every level. Uh, me. My cabinet colleagues, my ministerial colleagues, uh, my senior staff, we are all resolved to be and do better. Prime Minister, one of the reasons many of your colleagues felt it needed to get to this drastic measure to send you a signal is because of the conflict of interest involving your Chief of Staff and the Federal Director. What are you going to do to resolve that specific situation? Well, look, uh, that specific situation has uh, uh, been around for five years now and it certainly didn't stop us from having a very good result in the 2010 election. Uh, it didn't stop us uh, running a very strong opposition throughout the last term of the parliament. didn't stop us getting a very good result in the 2013 election and frankly it didn't stop us doing a lot of good things last year, whether it be stopping the boats, repealing the carbon tax, getting the three free trade uh, agreements negotiated. Now, um, I, I, I say to people that uh, my door is open, um, I am available to people. And if they're anxious about talking to person X or anxious about talking to person Y, they can talk to me. Just 
Phil? Do you retain confidence in your senior ministers, including the Treasurer, Joe Hoggy? Um, the, the, the point I make is that uh, uh, this has been a very chastening experience, obviously, a very chastening experience. It's uh, not often that something like this happens uh, um, 16 or 17 months into the life of a government. But um, we have uh, had some headwinds, uh, as they say. Um, I'm not complaining uh, because we uh, take the world as it is, not as we would wish it to be, but the Senate obviously uh, has been difficult. Um, the attitude of the opposition uh, has been uh, obstructionist, uh, to say the least. Obviously, there was a difficult, uh, difficult result in Queensland, and who wouldn't be nervous after watching the result uh, in Queensland. So all of us are determined to lift our game and the fundamental point I make is that the solution to all of these things is good government. And good government starts today. Good government starts today. Andrew? Could I ask just on two, on, on two topics? Um, firstly, what structural and procedural um, changes will you make to your office, which is still a big bugbear for your colleagues? And secondly, do you have a secret deal with Shinzo Abe for Japan to supply the whole or major parts of the submarine? Because people within industry are wondering whether this is why, rather than talking about open tender, you're now talking about a competitive evaluation process, which is quite different. Well, there, there are no secret deals. Um, obviously, uh, we want to get the best possible submarines uh, at the best possible price. Obviously we want that. Uh, we want Australian submariners to put to sea in a really world-class submarine. It would be criminally irresponsible of us uh, to send our submariners to sea in something that wasn't capable of taking on uh, whatever others could throw at us uh, and hoping to succeed. So we want the best possible submarines at the best possible price, but equally obviously we want the best possible deal for Australia and the competitive evaluation process that I've sp spoken about is exactly what you'd expect from a government. It's exactly what you would expect from a government. Now, it's uh, um, possible, maybe even likely, that there will be an international partner. When the Collins class subs were built, there was an international partner there. Um, we are talking not just to the Japanese, although we certainly are talking to them, uh, we're talking to the French, we're talking to the Germans. That's what you would expect. Now, uh, as for my, uh, my office, as I said, I, I, I stand by my colleagues, uh, whether they're parliamentary colleagues, uh, whether they're staff colleagues. Uh, but do I say every one of us is perfect? Absolutely not. I don't say that. Uh, do I say that we uh, can't all lift our game? Uh, of course, we all do need to lift our game after something like this, and um, I am absolutely confident that that's exactly uh, the message that we've got from the Australian people, that they expect government at every level to be focused on their concerns, to be focused on them, not on ourselves, and that's exactly what I am determined to deliver in the weeks and months and years ahead. Thank you so much.